Now back to the news desk. Jim, thank you very much. Coming up on your Bangor News, the USDA is recalling lettuce from an East Coast produce company due to a listeria con contamination. We'll have details. And several humane graduates return to the campus of their alma mater to show off their recently published books. We'll have those stories and more after the break. With UMaine homecoming this weekend, the university is hosting and highlighting a wide array of Black Bear alumni, including its authors. Today was Alumni Author Day on the flagship Orono campus. Uh, the University Bookstore hosted five alumni authors of various genres to interact with members of the public and sign copies of their latest books. It occurred to us that homecoming, which is a big celebration of alumni, would be an excellent time for us to see how many of those authors we could get on campus uh, to talk about their books and maybe autograph and sell a few with the holidays coming. 1997 alumnus Dr. Peter Cummings, a medical examiner and neuropathologist for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, signed copies of his first novel, The Neuropathology of... It's a great way to mash together some science and some science fiction horror. And one thing that, that, you, that I think is interesting about this book is I've used it as a way to sneak in some neuroscience. Right. So you'll come away learning some things about the brain, how it works, and what happens when things go wrong in the brain, and, and how some of those things could possibly lead to creating a zombie. You missed today's event and are interested in purchasing alumni books, you can visit UMainAlumni.com and click on Marketplace. And I know you have expressed sincere interest in the past over how the brain of zombies works, so a UMaine alumnus could offer you some help. It's one of those perpetual questions that never <laughs> seems to be answered. The uh, never-ending uh, question, and uh, maybe someday at least you'll get a start of an answer in Mr. Cummings' book. That's right. Yeah. Small fact about him, he's from Marblehead, my hometown. No kidding. Absolutely. Small world. Well, there may only be a few days left this season to get out and do some leaf peeping, so will the weather cooperate? Jim will let you know after the break in your full five-day forecast. You can listen.